In this video, I'm gonna show you the first settings to adjust in Reaper. So this is part three of the first settings to adjust in Reaper. And we're checking out the preferences. And the next tab over here is the media item defaults. And in this tab, we can see how Reaper deals with fades on new items. By default, it's gonna create fade in and fade out for new items, and it sets the length at 10 milliseconds. We can change that to any length you want, or just turn it off, but it's on by default. But there's another option over here that I tend to use, which is turning off fade in and fade out for imported items. Because I bring in a lot of samples and loops, I don't want them to fade in and fade out automatically, as it'll fade in the transients or the attack on those audio files. I can still set those up if I want to, but by default, they're not gonna be there, but only if we leave this on. By default, Reaper leaves this off. So just turn this on if you don't wanna fade in or fade outs for imported items. And down over here, we can set the shape. By default, the fade in and fade outs are like this, but we could change it to be linear or a slower fade in and out and do the same with our crossfade shape. Make it linear or slower or any of these custom shapes. But the default is here, but if we change it, and apply it, it'll use your preferred shapes. And then over here, we can decide by default how Reaper handles looping. By default, it's gonna loop imported items, MIDI items, and recorded items. If you don't want that, you could turn them off or turn some on and some off based on your preference. And just apply it, and it'll work that way for each item as they're created. But we can still change each item afterwards by going to item settings and choosing or not choosing loop item source, this is just the setting that's gonna be by default. With looping on or off for each type of items, imported, MIDI, or recorded. Now there's something else I wanna show you in the actions menu, and it's based on getting around our projects. If we go to the actions menu, Show action list. If we type in scroll and go down to the bottom, we can see all the scrolling actions for scrolling in Reaper, be it left, right, up and down. And we can choose them right here. Scroll horizontal, left and right, or scroll vertically, up and down. But as you're using Reaper, you might decide you don't like the defaults as it's mostly a personal preference. So if you wanna change them, just click here, Go to add and just change them right here. Move the mouse up and down or side to side. Hold on a modifier that you prefer to use. Command, option, control, or shift. And that's gonna control horizontal scrolling for you. We'll do the same for vertical. But what's also interesting is these options over here. Horizontal scroll reversed and vertical scroll reversed. If you prefer to go the opposite direction as a default, you can just change it right here. And then moving one way on your mouse or trackpad will go the other way on the screen for scrolling. So it's very customizable to change how we scroll in Reaper. And we can do the same thing for zooming. Let's type in zoom. Again, go towards the bottom. And now we can choose to zoom horizontally or zoom vertically. And it works the same way. Just choose it and hit add, and just move your mouse wheel or your trackpad to change the behavior for that action. And just like with scrolling for zooming, we could do it reversed, horizontally reversed or vertically reversed. And we could also adjust the sensitivity of our scrolling or zooming, if it's going too fast or slow for you. So let's say you want to adjust this one zooming horizontally, we can just create a custom action by selecting it first, go down here to new action and choose new custom action. That's gonna create a custom action over here 
we could have multiple actions that could be triggered with one keyboard shortcut. So in addition to zooming horizontally, we could add some modifications to it. Let's go to the filter and type modify. And we can see over here how we could tweak the sensitivity of this action. For example, if it's moving too fast, we can slow it down with this one. Just drag it over and it's gonna adjust half as much. Or if it's going too slow, we can speed it up with this one. And now it's gonna move twice as fast. Or we could adjust it 10% faster or move multiple versions to go 20% or 30% and do the same thing by making it slower. Slow it down 10% or 20% or 30% so we could tweak the sensitivity of our scrolling or zooming. And just give it a name, save it, and we see it right here, and assign the keyboard shortcut you want to use to that. I personally think that zooming and scrolling is pretty important in a DAW. And your own personal preference might be different than the defaults that are set up. Of course, you don't have to change them if you like them, but if you prefer to scroll or zoom a different way, this is how to set it up. So that's pretty much it. That's the first settings to adjust in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mom!